It's Skylander Saturday! Hey Portal Masters, on this episode of Skylanders 101, we're gonna break things down with a classic water element, Anchors Away Gilgrunt from Skylanders Swap Force. Let's check out some of his gameplay right now. Fear the fish. All right, so let's check out some of Anchors Away Gilgrunt's upgrades. Harpoon gun, press X to shoot high velocity harpoons at your enemies. The power hose, press B to spray water at your enemies. Barbed harpoons, so your harpoons get a little stronger there. High pressure power hose. Harpoon repeater, lets you reload your harpoons a little faster. The water jetpack, hold Y to fly until the jetpack runs out, but haha, if you go with this path, then the uh, reserve energy or the reserve tank doesn't run out of water, so you can just kind of hose away. And then the boiling water hose, even more damage. And Neptune gun, when using the power hose, press X to launch exploding sea creatures. So you may you may go with that path, or you may decide to go with the tri the trident path here, the harpoon or the harpoon path. Harpoons deal more damage, piercing harpoons, or the triple shot. You know, I kind of think the way to go. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments below, but I kind of think the bottom path is kind of the way to go with Gilgrunt because you he's you know you want to be able to get that speed going, right? And you know, having the water there just kind of just kind of helps. You know, the unlimited waters. That's kind of his thing, right? All right, so his soul gem was the anchor cannon. Hold X to charge the anchor. We'll show you this. And then his new wow pow is anchor management. Charge up the anchor and press B to do special damage. A little tricky on the Xbox controller to do that little combo since the buttons are far away, but we'll, we'll try and get that going for you in this video. All right, so we're on the uh, Sheepwreck Island here. Here's uh, Gilgrunt in action. I always really like the look of him, and I like the way his... Um, his projectile weapon kind of goes really far. It's not the fastest thing. You see it kind of has a little bit of a delay when you're shooting. So then the second thing is is here we can... We can... I guess we, we'll say fly around. Although, you know, it's kind of got like a little water jetpack. And this is now unlimited when you have this... Where you go with this path. So this is great. You can fly through like the whole level. Of course, when you hit cutscenes. And he strafes also. So he... So he Whatever direction you're looking at, when you start to jetpack, it'll just stay looking in that direction. So it's kind of good and bad. I mean, you know, if you're fighting bad guys, you can kind of attack them while you're while you're in the air. And then the third thing is this water hose, <laughs> which this is ridiculous. It just goes and goes and goes, and you can see it every once in a while. Kind of toss out a little starfish, or let's see, you gotta. Blast! You can blast out, blast out little starfish there. And um, okay, then what else? Then here's the uh, here's the soul gem. Is it this crazy big giant one? You let that go. So the thing that's good about this is you can kind of still walk a little bit while you're charging up his soul gem attack. And then the new Wow Pow is you hold that down, you charge it up, and then you press B. Ah, I jumped in mistake. Press B on the Xbox controller. And it'll create this crazy whirlpool thing. I'll take out some bad guys. Now it's a tricky, it's a tricky thing because it, it almost uses like uh, two hands because uh, on the Xbox controller, it's hard to really kind of get from holding down X to be but anyway let's fight some bad guys see what happens all right let's fight some bad guys here gil grunt here's the harpoon in action see it's kind of cool if you you can stick them and some of the bad guys the harpoon will kind of stay stay stuck in their bodies well, that was kind of cool it's kind of hard to see with these guys and if you're in a jam you just kind of fly around there but here's the real fun is this hose and just hosing bad guys out is is kind of one of the ways to go right <laughs> it's pretty annoying but would you know 
Would you like to get just hosed down by Gilgrunt? <laughs> just constantly? Alright, watch out, mines. Alright, let me show you some of the uh, the extra stuff here. The Wow Pow and... Um, some of his other goodness. Alright, I don't need to go exploring. I just need to find some bad guys here to take out. Kind of forgot how much teleporting it was here. Okay, here we should get some bad guys in this area. Okay, so here's the soul gem. Oh, I want to get away from his vortex thing. And here's the... Ah, I think it's so hard to control. Not really a big fan of his wow pow. So look at how far away it goes. Chances are the enemies are not even going to be like over in that vicinity. So look at this, it's doing nothing. Come on, walk. There we go. I I tricked that guy into walking into my little my little whirlpool effect there. It kind of looks neat, but. I think I'm just going to use the hose. Hose you down. There's some overkill. 100. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of kind of effective if you if you can time it just right, you can get the hang of it there. Alright, so this is a closer look at Anchors Away Gilgrunts. Guys, let me know in the comments below which path you go with when you're leveling up your Gilgrunts. Some classic, some OG classic from the original. The original game is back again, Series 3. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of Gilgrunt for Corner TV. We'll see you guys next time.